Yo, it's your boy Smoke back from the Madden video. And yes, you did actually read that title correctly. This video will not end until I win eight Super Bowls. Everyone knows Tom Brady is the GOAT. If you don't think Tom Brady is the GOAT, I think you're just saying that to say that, honestly. But everyone knows Tom Brady's the GOAT. He has seven Super Bowls. We're going to beat him and have eight Super Bowls. And I chose the Baltimore Ravens for this challenge because I feel like they'll be good for the future. And right right now, I just want to talk about Madden Trivia real quick. If you don't know, Madden Trivia is something we do on the channel where he asks you a Madden Trivia question. Obviously, that's in the name. And then you go ahead and you have a chance to win $10 in Madden 22 points. And... All the last week people who entered, yes, you did click on the right video. I just voiced over this video on Friday because I have a family event going on on Saturday. And that's when I normally voice over the vids. So go ahead and check the comments and the winner will be down below in there because this is getting posted on Sunday. And also the first winner was Bryce Black. And then and then um, this uh, the last winner will be in the comments. So if you enter in the last video and you said we got it correct, Make sure to go ahead and check the comments. All right, guys. And right there, the first trade was against for or to get DJ Moore. I gave away Willie Sneed, which he's not even on the Ravens roster currently, but I could not get the updated rosters. And I got DJ Moore and I gave away some picks. And right here, I traded away Nick Boyle. He's a backup tight end. And I got him traded for David Andrews. I know Nick Boyle is an amazing blocking tight end, but come on, it's an 85 overall center. How could I not get that? All right. In the first year, we lost against the Browns, we were a first round exit. We were the sixth seed. And of course, the Browns beat us. And honestly, I, looking back on this, I really should have did pick the Browns, but whatever. I mean, we, I ended up, um, I ended up just going through it, but I did really want to quit this and just pick the Browns again, but got to keep on going through. All right, guys. And right here, we lost in the AFC Championship, not only to the Browns. And I just want to say something real quick. There will be a Madden trivia in this video where I ask a question. It'll be in the middle of the video, though. So make sure to stick around if you want a chance for 10 bucks in Madden 22 points. All right, guys. In the next year, we actually got our first Super Bowl. All right, that's number one. And we only got seven more to go. All right, guys. But in all seriousness, uh, let's go ahead and read off the comp or er, the achievement. So obviously Ravens Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP, Devin Bush. I ended up trading Patrick Queen for Devin Bush, all because Patrick Queen EA was making it act like he was gonna be a bust. Like the one year he played with us absolutely sucks. So I traded him after the first season. NFL MVP was Matt Ryan, coach of the year, Matt LaFleur, offensive player of the year, Matt Ryan, defensive player of the year, Cleo Mack, and then the two rookies are auto generated because I could not get I could not get the, any other rookies other than the rookies that were in this draft class. All right, guys, and the next season right here, we got absolutely smacked around by the Broncos, 28-3. Um, to 3. That's embarrassing. Three points in a playoff game is absolutely sad. And honestly, the Jaguars up there with only seven points in a playoff game, that is sad as well. There's a reason why we're leaving <laughs> the playoffs. You cannot score you cannot score three or seven points and expect to win a playoff playoff game. That's absolutely ridiculous. Let's go ahead with all the re-signings, though. We signed J.K. Dobbins because he's been doing really good for us. Justin Tucker, I'm going to let him go. I know he's a fan favorite and everything, but he's asking more money than I could get for an average kicker at the end of the day. I feel like we'll still be good with an average kicker. I love Justin Tucker. I know he's a meme, and he's honestly amazing at doing what he is. Like He's the best kicker, but again, I money's kind of tight, and Lamar is taking up a lot of money because he did get a massive deal. David Andrews, he's old, and he wants a lot of money, so I'm just going to let him walk. All right, and the next season here, or not the next season, my bad. I'm going to show you guys the free agent signings I did. Corey Lindsley and James Bradbury, we got some veterans. I really wanted to get Fletcher Cox really bad, but uh, we were not able to get him. Our defensive line is kind of shaky right now, so we could have really used that help. But And we did give Fletcher Cox the most money. So. But anyway, we got Corey Lindsley and James Bradbury. I feel like they'll help us out a lot. I mean, those are two studs. Yes, they are old, but they're still great. I mean... They're still great players, and it didn't end up working out because now we got our second Super Bowl win. And Super Bowl MVP was Lamar Jackson. Coach of the or NFL MVP was Patrick Mahomes. Coach of the year, Mike McCarthy. Uh, offensive player of the year, Ezekiel Elliott. Defensive player of the year, Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons on the Eagles, though. So apparently the Cowboys traded away Micah Parsons to the Eagles, which is yuck. And obviously the rookies are just auto-generated. All right, in the next season here, we did not match up with our Super Bowl success. Um, 
we were second round exits to the Buffalo Bills. And obviously, of course, the Browns are going to be in the AFC Championship because why not? And the Giants are the one seed and crushing everyone in the NFC, apparently. I mean, I know we aren't in the future, but geez, the, <laughs> I don't think any, I don't think the Giants are going to do that anytime soon. But anyway, let's go and let's go ahead and go over the signings that I did for this season. I tried getting Ronnie Stanley back. Yes, I really wanted him. He's a 98 overall left tackle. How could you not want him? But we could not. But I was able to get AJ Espinenza, Joe Thunley, KJ Hamler, and Kenny Moore. Those are really big signings. And it seems like when we get some big signings, we got a Super Bowl. So hopefully that carries on. Hopefully, let's see how that does. And it did end up working out in a very high scoring Super Bowl matchup um, 40 to 34. Geez. Um, Baltimore Ravens won the Super Bowl, obviously. Five times Super Bowl, it's crazy to think about every time they every time they went to the Super Bowl, they won. Super Bowl MVP was Lamar Jackson. NFL MVP was Lamar Jackson. Coach of the year, like and subscribe. That's what I named my coach. Just to remind you guys to leave a like and subscribe. Please leave a like and subscribe because this video took forever. Okay, I swear I'll stop saying those two words now. Offensive player of the year, Justin Fields. Defensive player of the year, Devin White. And now we're going off to the Madden trivia question. I told you guys it'd be somewhere in the middle of the video, and here it is. The Madden trivia question is, name two players in the Madden 1999 club. There are seven players. I feel like one would be too easy. Again, this is still really easy to do. Go ahead and comment that down. We'll let you know if you're right. And if you're right, you do have a chance to win $10. Just make sure to watch the next Sunday's video to see if you won, because that's when the winner will be announced. All right. And after after winning the Super Bowl, we go 4-12 and because that just makes sense, apparently, in EA's, in EA's world. But we in the following year, we were able to bounce back and make playoffs, but we were a second-round exit, not other to the Cleveland Browns and the Chicago Bears. And the Chicago Bears are the first seed. Again, a lot of craziness going on in that NFC up there. I don't know what's going on, man. But anyway, next year, or sorry, my bad, signings for, for next year. We got quite a bit. Um, Stefan Diggs, I know he's pretty old. Greg Little, Chris, um, Greg Little, Christian... Godwin and uh, Jeremy Chin. Jeez, I don't know. I'm going to say Jeremy Chin's name. It's like the basic name ever. But yes, Jeremy Chin, Stefan Diggs, Chris Godwin, and auto generated defensive tackle Randy Witten. Again, after we do signings, it seems like our team's pretty good. So let's go in and see what that does for us. Honestly, I know Stefan Diggs is old, but it's still Stefan Diggs. And it did not do much because we went 6-10. and 10. So I guess my luck kind of ran out with just banking on free agency signings. And I think I know what we're going to have to do. And I know a lot of people aren't going to like it. But I do feel like we are going to have to trade Lamar Jackson. Just because he is taking up so much money with that contract I gave him. But you really blame me for giving me a big contract. He's, he's so good. And what we ended up winning three Super Bowls with him. So, I mean, it was what it was worth it. It was worth the three Super Bowls, but we went ahead and traded him for Justin Fields. Justin Fields is four years younger. He's only five overalls less, and we got a third-round pick to go with it, and he's making $9 million less dollars. So we saved $9 million with this trade, get a third-round pick, get a younger quarterback. I feel like this is a win-win, and because this gives the Giants um, the best quarterback in the game right now, and – Obviously, in the more in the future, I'm not talking right right now. I don't want to get a thousand hate comments just because people hate Lamar. <laughs> Honestly, he does get way too much hate, but whatever. We're going to the next trade. I traded this auto-generated running back and a second-round pick, and next year is first for Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. It just seems like we do better with when we have a good running back, and Clyde Edwards-Hilaire ended up being a 95 overall, so that's really good. And we just do better with a good running back because this team is so run-heavy. That's just what the playback is, and honestly... I would I don't mind giving up this much considering we're getting a 95 running back. I mean, on my eyes, it looks like a good trade. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and go to another trade that we did. We went went ahead and gave him a first round pick. I believe this was this year for Joe Cameron, which is an auto-generated person, obviously, and Robert Peake, auto-generated. So tight end is pretty bad, and our our defensive line is kind of bad too, and. I just feel like that was a simple trade. I mean, we're kind of going all in. Like, we're kind of expecting to have a massive turning point, and that did end up working. We did have a massive turning point. Um, we are Super Bowl champs, Super Bowl MVP, Justin Fields, Coach of the Year. Like and subscribe. 
Again, guys, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Uh, Offensive Player of the Year, Pete Nolan, auto-generated, obviously. Chase Young, Defensive Player of the Year. And then the rookies are auto-generated. So, um, again, a very, very high-scoring Super Bowl. I don't know what's up with these high-scoring Super Bowls, but it seems like once we get to the Super Bowl, no one really plays defense, which is weird. But in the next year, we go ahead and we win the Super Bowl again. We go back-to-back Super Bowl champs, all right? And the Super Bowl MVP, Daniel Levins. And the NFL MVP was Lamar Jackson on the Giants. So Lamar had a chance to have his vengeance against us. This was his vengeance game if he would have won a Super Bowl against us, but he did not end up doing that. And this is four straight years making a Super Bowl appearance, but we got abs- absolutely smacked this game. 45-14. to 14. Super Bowl MVP was Trey Lance. NFL MVP was Lamar Jackson again. Coach of the Year, Zach Taylor. Uh, offensive Player of the Year, Trey Lance, and then the last three are auto-generated, but look at Lamar Jackson trying to prove me wrong, and even though I do feel like we still won that trade just because Justin Fields was younger, but still, Lamar Jackson, two back-to-back MVPs, and we, but, I mean, we got to turn that around, I mean, we got absolutely smacked by the 49ers, but we did turn it around, and this wasn't a high-scoring Super Bowl, I mean, it's kind of low-scoring, honestly, but now, but now this is our third Super Bowl in Four years. So that's actually pretty crazy to think about. Baltimore Ravens and then Roy Perkins. Auto-generated, of course. Zach Wilson, MVP. Coach of the Year, Griffin Murray, which is an auto-generated person for Bill Belichick, I believe, because he didn't want to give the rights to EA to put his name. Defensive Player of the Year, Patrick Queen. Oh, my. Of course, he just had to prove me wrong. But I kid you not, the one season he did play with us, he did absolutely horrible. Like, he only got 40 tackles. That's pretty – he got, like, only 40 and 50 tackles. That's pretty bad for a middle linebacker. But I should probably stop making fun of Patrick Queen because we suck right now. We went 2-14. and 14. That is by far the worst we've ever done. 2-14, and 14, that's an absolute sick joke. All right, so hopefully we can turn that around next season, and let's go and see what we do and – I mean, 9-7, and seven, I mean, it's a winning record, but it's not good enough for the playoffs in the AFC North because this is a really hectic division. <laughs> Everyone was literally almost the same record. So that's, a, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> they were just going for blood in that division that year, apparently. <clears throat> All right, guys. And the next year, we did end up winning the Super Bowl. So we are at 7 right now, I believe. Yes, we are at 7. We are one away. One away from being this challenge. Right now, we are we have tied Tom Brady. All right. Super Bowl MVP, Justin Fields. NFL MVP, auto-generated. Coach of the year, Kevin, St- Kevin Stefanski. You know, he's the Patriots, and the rest of those people are auto-generated. That's how you know we are long gone in the future. Almost everyone is auto-generated. That's absolutely crazy, but it's crazy to think about. We have actually tied uh, Tom Brady for seven Super Bowls. This guy... Guys, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This video did take a long. I know I keep on saying it, but this video took at least six hours to make. And there we go. There you have it. We we are eight-time Super Bowl champions. All right. The Super Bowl MVP was Tyree James. And obviously, the rest of those people are on a jet range. Even Tyree James is. But we have eight Super Bowls now, and we got this challenge done. And guys... Um, I know I keep on saying it, but please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This video took us so long. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the Madden trivia question just in case you forgot it or you forgot about Madden trivia. So make sure to go ahead and name two players in the Madden 1999 club. All right, guys. Right, and just to clarify, this is right here showing all the wins I got. 2033 win, 2033 Super Bowl champs, 2031, 2030, 20. Uh, 2026, 2024, 2022, and right now I'm just going to repeat it in the other order. 2022 Super Bowl champs, 2024, 2026, 2030, 2031, 2033, 2036, 2038. Right, those are so many years I just listed off. I probably mis- I probably just messed up saying half of those, but you guys get on saying. All right, guys, we are actually eight-time Super Bowl champions. I can't believe we did this. I mean, I was not going to stop until I got eight Super Bowl, eight Super Bowls. I wanted to put on a good Madden video for you guys. This is one of the last we're doing because Madden 22 is coming up. So make sure to go ahead to comment the answer to the Madden trivia question. And you guys, if you guys are interested in Red Dead Online, there'll be a video going on tomorrow for Red Dead Online. 
going over the Evans repeater if you are interested in, in Red Dead. And guys, make sure to go ahead and answer that Madden trivia question. All right, guys. Bye. And thank you so much for watching this video.